Yo, what is up, y'all, and uh, welcome back to another Stormative Stream. <clears throat> so yesterday, I finally uh, transcended the final barrier from going from being a Super Mario Maker 2 streamer, which I've only streamed twice, <laughs> and I transitioned to Super Mario World streamer um, by this metric. So my most viewed Twitch VOD was Super Mario Maker 2 at 50. Then my Super Mario World stream last night, 65, and I started yesterday at 65 exits. I was like, wow, it's really funny. But yeah, big thanks again to First Name Butt for the huge 31 viewer raid yesterday, Alyssa SMW, Empress Fordola for the follows, and all the chatters. Super fun stream yesterday. I streamed for a long time, even though I worked a full day yesterday too, because I was so like drawn into this hack it's like we beat all eight worlds we beat all we got all the both exits in these eight special world levels and i was like there's still so many exits so where the heck are we going and let me make sure the thing changed okay <clears throat> and then so i was so exhausted last night and then i played this level like once or twice i was like i gotta go sleep but so this might lead to two different worlds. This might lead to the two like final worlds. Cause like, it's like, where the heck else is it gonna go, right? Um, and I got the midway. Cool. <laughs> Way too tired last night to remember. I was like exhausted for the last like hour of the stream or something, but uh, it was still really fun. I didn't really successfully adjust my sleep schedule because I still woke up early this morning. <laughs> Yo, to Kobe Rabbit, what's going on? <clears throat> How's it going? I hope your uh, Saturday morning has been off to a good start. That was like a really bad way to get through that. <laughs> oh, wait. All right, where's the thing? There we go. It's been okay. Yeah, I'm glad you got some time to check out this stream because uh, I wanna, I need to find out that freaking story of the purple and green message box. Like, I usually don't like streaming the same game so many times in a row, but this hack has just been that good. I'm like, I wanna see the, the final challenges and the lore. And yeah, I just have been really in the mood for Super Mario World lately, because that's why I've been watching mostly on Twitch. I watched a little bit of a Tekken 8 tournament earlier as well. It was pretty cool. So yeah, I do remember this part now that we're here. So I died somewhere a little bit up ahead. But yeah, I was just exclaiming about how um, the VOD from last night's stream got uh, 65 views. And so that's like my highest Twitch VOD view number I've seen. So I'm officially a Super Mario World streamer. <clears throat> if I must be put inside a box, but mostly just a uh, variety streamer. Yeah, that's not right. Game over. Yeah, no, I'm good. Got the infinite lives glitch. Um, wait, so what's the point of that? Sure, I guess that's maybe related to the other exit. Just another sky tree level SMH. No, it's not actually that, but <laughs> it's just one of my favorite message boxes from the, the bean ROM hack. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty hopeful because I think like we're gonna 
meet the blue slash purple and green message box again. They'll probably have some some more lore to drop on us. Maybe it's not lore to drop on us. It's like they'll have some more lore to like disseminate. locked in. I did a little bit of warm-up gaming this morning. I did some laundry, which it's always feels good to do something um, productive like that. And, um, and so I was also playing Street Fighter 6 and um, playing some Zangief. I had a really good like 3-0 set against the Ryu player and I felt like being a troll in the last game so um, <laughs> like I was ahead by a lot but I got knocked down so I just woke up with level one and then I got punished and I woke up with level one a second time <laughs> and I could have done it a third time because I had it a third bar but I was like yeah that's good so I just won after that. <laughs> Just randomly using level one is great, and um, I guess that was just my vibe today, because I also recorded a clip before that, where if you guys know Street Fighter VI, you'll know what I mean, but, um, and I'll try to explain it for people who don't know, like, Manon is a character, the ballet dancing character, um, and she has a move where she, like, jumps up and is in the air and does, like, a double kick while she's spinning like a ballet twirl it's pretty similar to chun li's spinning bird kick now that i'm thinking about it actually um nice um yeah and so the manon player did that move and i like put in i just used the level one super which is like an anti-air where zangief jumps up to grab the opponent um and I was thinking, like, is it going to connect? Because, like, she is pretty high up in the air during that move. And it did connect. And it was the, it was the final move. Um, and that was really funny. So I'm glad I got a clip of that. And for the life of me, I could not find a good way to, like, upload clips to social media the PS4. You'd think they would do that, but maybe they only cared about it for PS5. Um, but so I think at some point I'll just like organize my clips and we'll have a clip show stream where I show all my Street Fighter 6 clips and Rocket League and probably a bunch of other random stuff as well. I feel like it would make more sense to do one or two Rocket League streams before I do that, though. <laughs> it's like, since I've been streaming more Binding of Isaac, that's my only game like that I'm really good at that I haven't streamed much yet. Oh, damn it. But I probably will do that pretty soon now, because since I, um... Only have my PS4 right now. Won't be tempted by the Nintendo Switch Classics Library. Which is very awesome. Okay, so I'm not going for the one up. That was where I died yesterday. I thought that was going to be safe for some reason. Alright, progress time. Yeah, I love, like, needing to be patient, and then, yeah, there's a... Perfect. <laughs> uh, I don't intend to drink water right now. Gotta get up there. Let's 
So how, why would it be possible for the timer to run out even though I like freaking spawn at the midway? Like if you don't respawn at the midway in this, like you're just instantly dead there and that's really not good. You're punishing the player for being good at the game. I'm shaking my dang head. Either you're punishing the player for being too good at the game, or you're just assuming that everybody would die um, at some point. I don't know. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. GG. <laughs> oh. Forgot I was going to put on some chapstick as well. Super Starland. All right. Well, we're finding more exits slowly but surely. Let's see. Where's the next one? I've been hearing that same phrase a lot lately. Punishing the player for playing too well. Yeah, that can definitely be a real thing. Um, that level creators don't account for. Because, like... I think it's because they play through the level like one small step at a time so many times so they're not used to like thinking about the timer and the whole experience because it's like I mean some play testers will play the final product many times as well but it's good to do that so then you get the full experience many times um, and that's how that can, I think, be avoided, so... There might be a parallel between that being a problem. Level creators not accounting for the player playing too well and the full experience. That might be related to, like... Um... People in general having shorter attention spans. Because level creators are also, uh, people who probably, like, use social media and stuff. <laughs> Just gives me that vibe. Alright, so maybe I'll need to keep this cape. Because they give you a cape right there since it's the switch block. Damn. Oh. Oh well. always something I love about uh, watching Super Mario World streams, especially for new hacks, is um, it's like hearing people's latest thoughts and discussions, not just on the newest stuff, but just like where people are at with what they look for from hacks in general. It's definitely shifted some since I started following it back in the day or whatever it was. <laughs> All right, two capes. Okay, so the level is working and we just grabbed a midway. So because of both of those reasons, uh, I'm gonna go this way. Maybe it was meant for you to go this way the second time and it was, um, it was supposed to be like that so you had to go in the door. Yeah, we'll just go with that, we'll go with that. Well, 
one direction is probably gonna be an item we need, another one is the way we go. I have no idea what that arrow is trying to indicate. I think we're gonna bring a P switch here. Okay, never mind. Alright, well, I don't know, it was off to the right, but, um. Imagine this just leads to the key in the keyhole. It's like, what the heck, dude? Okay, um, that's nice. I'm in dry bones is jamming right here. Reminds me of the dino dance emote. Aha! Did the thing. GG. Alright, that was a good warm up. Warp star. Where the heck's it warping to? Hmm, okay. Okay, back door. Interesting. Uh, we'll check that out later. And so this one leads to the front door, right? Just making sure I'm understanding it right. Like eight worlds. That was the eighth one. Okay. All right. So we're all caught up. We got the back door, and then back door is one path. This is the other one. Let's go this way. Super Starland. It's like a Star Muncher level. <clears throat> Oh, I love this song. Feels good, man. <laughs> yeah, let's get some Dino Dance in there. <clears throat> Excellent choice. Oop. Don't fall down on my microphone. Literally, it's falling towards me. Okay. Oh, well, Nyan Cat. Yeah, exactly. And the funniest part is my introduction to this song was through the Hatsune Miku rhythm game. Yeah, man, this is a jam. I think this song is so, um, iconic. But look who decided to show up. It's Nyan the Cat. I guess the only way to beat this level is to use Yoshi's flying ability. Yeah, screw that. No way. Okay, wait, actually they were right. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this could be uh, pretty fun. Could be terrible. And then you take a break here so he doesn't swallow the shell. And I could have taken a break there, but I think we'll get another chance. Or just do that. Um, hang on a second. New shell, who dis? What the heck is that? <laughs> oh god. No! Wait, we might be okay. Okay, we're okay. That's crazy. <laughs> Get away from me, you baseball asshole. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know what happened there. It was weird. Um, let's do this one. I like to keep the cape. So yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be a really long level and this song is definitely meant to be really annoying. 
That's a better way to do that. Wait, wait, I'm not holding the run button. Hold on. Well. So I can't tell if I should go like under or over these plants. I think we can just wait to go over. And then take a break here. Do that in case they follow me. We're going up and around. And another time for a break. that P switch might just be for coins. Oh. Or no, it probably has something to do with the second exit. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Okay, I kind of thought that was gonna be right there. <laughs> Um, just, just one other thing. One other thing. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, that's where we're going. I don't know what the heck that's going to do with the P-Switch, but... Anyway, GG. And where's this going to lead to? Okay, kind of figured one would do that. Alright, show me what lies beyond... Uh, is that supposed to be part of this as well? Don't really know if you would have had time to get here to get another star. I guess there must be. Otherwise, why would that second block be there? Um, alright, let's just do a new one, I don't know if I saved after I won. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, this is a jam, and this is a yeah, man jam. I'm in Yemen, listening to the yeah, man jam. Nah, I'm actually in the United States, but... Oh, come on, bro. So this stream is gonna be the finish this hack or bus stream? Yeah, if I don't finish this hack, I'm totally retiring. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'll finish it this stream. Um... Unless there are still some new heights of the difficulty that I'm not aware of. We've got to go for the big 118 this time around. Then I'll have a celebratory Binding of Isaac stream where I play as the character who starts with one heart. <laughs> it's 
Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna bust. We're definitely gonna finish. Ah. Uh. This fellow's okay. This fellow's not that bad, though. <clears throat> Not that bad compared to some of our previous trials and tribulations in this hack. I kinda need some more practice with Yoshi flying anyway. I just take more breaks I can go really slowly <sighs> not like that but yeah the uh, rendition of this song in the game, uh, Hatsune Mika, or sorry, Hatsune Miku Project Diva Future Tone. It's kind of a long name to remember, but um, yeah, they had the Nyan Cat song on there. It's really cool. <clears throat> But yeah, whenever I think about like playing rhythm games and like rhythm games I'd like to stream, I always think it's really funny that like at one point there was a Twitch chatter who said like, do you play Clone Hero? <laughs> That's like one of my favorite like random questions of all time. Because yeah, like people like I go out and in real life and stuff are always like, you look so much like the 80s. It's like, I think I just like became possessed by someone whose entire vibe was the 80s or something. Nice. Pause. I guess we're supposed to go that way. Oh, I don't know. You're possessed by the entire decade that is known as the 80s. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's something else on the next level then. <laughs> yeah, there must be some spirits like that because all the discos already have been shut down. So it's like, all right, let's go find some people who've got that cool vibe though. <laughs> If there's at least still some more discos like in Europe or something. In Europe or wherever is the coolest American cities, I guess. Yeah man, the 80s were great. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, because when they make music in the 80s, they're always talking about I'm gonna stick it to the man. <laughs> like that was kinda when people started saying that, or maybe it was before that. I think it might have been a little before that actually, but um Okay, I forgot to take breaks. I just had to get right over there anyway. But yeah, I really like a lot of music from the eighties. Like I sometimes have leaned more to the sixties and seventies, but um the eighties is definitely the pinnacle of that entire era of music. If you if you just like lumped together all the 60s, 70s, and 80s, because, like, that's what I consider, like, all the time for, like, I guess classic rock slash slash 80s rock. Usually it's kind of its own thing, but 
you can kind of fit it in there because there's a lot of similar um, similar vibes, like similar um, I'm trying to think how else to explain, not just say similar vibes, like somewhat of a similar style from one artist to the next which ones was most popular in those decades. Pretty similar instrumentations. That was just the the beginning, the golden era of like electronic sounding music because now they've gone way too far. Way too far. What the freaking heck was that, dude? I don't know, I guess I spit this shell and it was far enough away that it still made contact with me again. Yeah, so the amazing era of music all came crashing down right around the time of the internet and the Nyan cat or something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's actually a good example of like electronic internet sounding music. But yeah, like I only went to one rave one time and they listened to like loud um, electronic rave music and um, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it, it was not really the one for me. But at least they had an area downstairs where they had like some food and drinks. I think I got some ginger ale. Alright, almost failed again, but we didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see, like... Obviously we need to fly down in that pit with Yoshi, but what does the P-Switch have to do with anything? Maybe it's just for coins and that's like a, a different thing or something. Oh my god, I don't want to have to go through all that shit again. I don't know, so let's see. Okay. Oh shit. So it's kind of kind of like tell me where to go. So that um So now I can't even do anything. Um I think we just need to activate the P switch later and there's probably going to be a ground down there. Maybe we need to fly there. I can't tell which one it'll be. Um, we're going to try to activate the P-switch further to the right. It feels kind of risky though because I don't remember like, exactly where the path is. So if you activate it and you're outside the path, I think that would also be a losing condition. We have this shell though, like even without the P-switch, we could try to just fly under there. See if we can fly to wherever we're going with the key and whatever. If I can slam dunk this part again. Oh. 
Yeah, that wasn't a slam dunk, but it was something. <laughs> something like that. Alright, so let's try, like... I mean... I can't even bring the P-Switch up here, can I? Yeah, so we, like, have to speedrun this. Come on, it's time to speedrun. Wait, keep that. Yes, I don't know. That is so miserable. There's no way I'm not using a save state there, dude. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> yeah, you have to be very well acquainted with how to fly as evenly as possible and exactly how many exactly how much space is below the screen that you're safe which I am not a master of either of those things so And yeah, it just seems really bad, but I don't know. It might be something different than what I think right now. But yeah, I'm pretty hyped with the Street Fighter 6. Um, I was exciting to play that earlier. I was watching some videos about it earlier too. And I think we're only four days away now from Akuma and the balance patch being released. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really funny. Like it's literally going to be pretty hilarious I think to get on there with me playing as Akuma and just like only like shoot fireballs and use the new special move on people just want to do like a mix of that basically <laughs> um just for a little bit then i'll probably switch over to ed and like all the new akuma players can get wrecked before they all get really good Yeah, so anyway, that part is very fun. It's definitely good and really fun. But, um... Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on here, dude. Oh no. Maybe I should try to see what's that, um... Question mark block. Nice. Is that because you need to keep the star the whole time? That would make a lot more sense than flying in a very small gap. Wait, so why is the P switch here then? Um, wait a second. Okay, so that way is not a shortcut. So yeah, I think you're supposed to have a star this whole freaking level so that you can just fly here. And, um, yeah, but no, screw that. I don't care. <laughs> it's not necessary. I had a feeling I would be able to fly this. Um, there we go. Almost. What the heck? Hmm. 
Bruh. Gotta do the thing. Alright, hold on. So... There we go. <sighs> okay, a little bit slower. Dang it. It goes so far down there. Ah. <sighs> Don't need your star. GG. Superstar Island? What the heck are we doing here? <laughs> Superstar Island. Like, this isn't the last level. Goodbye, Yoshi. Bro, where the heck are the other levels? <laughs> this is so confusing. Oh, I still have to try the back door. I'm pretty sure it doesn't leave us at 118. And besides, there's still all the lore of the the message box individuals. The final boss had an ugly face. That was his fault. He is slowly turning my world into crud. I need to fix this now. Come back later, please. Know you. Yeah, and they give you five dragon coins. That's how you know it's real. The corruption and errors will get irreversibly worse if he escapes. Do not distract me any further. I may still be able to stop him. Maybe. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. <laughs> oh, never mind. All right, so let's see what's um, going on here. Hmm, nice. Um, wait, did I do this? Yeah, we did this already. <laughs> so does this lead, does this lead to the same thing I've already done? I mean, it's usually how the back door works, I guess, so... Let's see, this way is a lot easier. Okay, please take me somewhere new so I can get all the exits and feel like I've completed the game completely, 100% completionist moment. You gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> Alright, well I gotta let this roll out to see and I wanted to stamp and stretch and like... Uh, I think turn my fan on too. It's getting kind of hot. So let me go do a couple things real quick, guys. I'm gonna put on some music because there's not any playing. No, actually, that'd be too misleading. Well, jam out to some music for me, viewers. You guys are awesome, and I got to see what the heck this leads to. It's probably the same as the other thing. We gotta be sure.
All right, what's up guys? Yeah, so I'm gonna do some research. Oh, here's a task of this hack. That's lovely. All right, so I'm gonna need to take some time here and do some research. Cause I'm pretty sure we'll have somewhere else to go on the overworld. Um, but right now it is not clear. So let me try to scroll through this quickly. I'm gonna see mostly the same ground we've already covered. But I think there's one or two worlds still yet to be discovered. Um, okay, so we're at world two. I think we went to world five. Okay, I'm going back to world two. Yeah, that green slime water level in World 2 was pretty nice. But yeah, big shout outs to the viewers, and I hope you guys are all um, having a great day. I made the mistake of thinking this hack would be a little more like, yeah man, like straightforward man. Um, <laughs> straightforward man, but whatever, wherever these other levels are, I think it's pretty well hidden. Unless I missed something, but we're going to see. Okay, so on to world three. I feel like I already walked through the whole overworld like two or three times. So if something was like clear from that, um, I mean, nothing was clear from that to me is what I mean. So. Alright, we're cruising through world three. Got the secret exit of the castle, underworld four. So it is the funniest thing to see like slow auto scrollers in in tasks runs, tool assisted runs. Um because like they don't have anything to do because they have to wait for the auto scroller to pass by. We're back in world five. Um and um yeah, so like since they don't have anywhere to go on slow auto scores, they'll just like do a ton of tricks usually and add in a lot of frame perfect movement that like is basically impossible for humans. Cause yeah, I don't really think that hands can like do that more than like two or maybe three Um, well, I don't know, probably more than two or three. However many inputs per second a human could do, it is definitely not anywhere near 60. There's another auto scroller. It's the secret exit of the world five castle, or are we at six already? Um, and also I'm gonna take us to a different spot on here while I, while this plays out. Okay, so that was the end of world five. So the research is going well. So far, the ground that's being covered is, uh, is what I've beaten already. Um, let's go chill over here then. <laughs> yeah, this is a great, great song. As I am uh, swiftly scrolling through this task to figure out where the heck I'm going in this mysterious video game. Alright, World 6 is already almost done, so we're definitely getting there. 
World 6 is done. World 7. Okay, there's the end of a level. So, World 7. Okay, that's all, um, all par for the course. But yeah, thanks again for all you guys uh, waiting for this patiently. I know it's like playing through these hacks, right? It's somewhat of a, uh, a labyrinth, usually. I often find the overworld to be the most difficult labyrinth to unravel, but... I mean, it's just because it's tied in with, like, secret exits and whatever. Some le levels the amount of secret exits can be really ambiguous. It's not a yellow or a red dot. Okay, so anyway, world 7 is complete. On to world 8 in the psychedelic planes. And then that was one of the lights out exits, I think. Wait, why does their overworld look different? Overworld for World 8 is like gray instead of like flashing like black and other colors. But anyway, they got all the same levels I've got, so I guess that part probably doesn't matter right now. This kind of seems weird though. This could be like a previous version of the hack. Because wait, it says 117 exits in the title, but on SMW Central, I think it says 118. Yeah, so one must have been added. This hack needs a name by Yeah Man 118 Exits. Okay. Interesting. Alright, we went right into Colorful Castle. Um, wait a second, that was different. Okay, so we can fly in more places than I thought. Is that gonna be what we do? <laughs> this is really funny. Oh yeah, the sped up Nyan cat music, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that was the warp star we already went to. Um, wait a second, what? Okay, go in the door. Okay. This is so confusing. <laughs> Two different exits led to the same warp star in the world eight. It's kind of weird. Alright, uh, let's see what else we've got for the mixtape here. Yeah, sure, that's good. Alright, let's put a save this time. Please don't kill. No! <laughs> Alright, wait, I've got to play the game. He just entered the, um... Just entered the... Um... World 8 Star World level. So he finally just started the Star World. And wait a second. Just did some crazy trick on the 
P-Switch speedrunning level. That was the one that took me forever to beat last night. <laughs> Just got the secret exit there super smoothly. Now we're flying underneath the level because of course... Alright, both exits to World 8, Star World. Um, and the ninth one level looks the same, but it had like a different name, I think. Hmm. Then it leads to Super Star Land. We were just in this the Nyan Cat level. Okay, got the key exit. And the normal exit. Oh, what is this all leading to, bro? <laughs> Gotta find these other exits. We must be getting there, because he's in the last area I know of, but there's still a decent bit of the video left. I think I just had to scroll through. It looks like he's doing all of the Star World levels right now. Okay, we're already at the World 3, World 4 Star level. World 5. World 6, the ghost one. That one was really hard as well. It's the purple and black horizontal lines where the purple is the water. Alright, and then world 7. So the, wait, wait, found the thing. Shoot. Okay. okay Mountain Starland, world 7. Okay, I already went this way. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That makes sense now. Dude, that looks so cool. You guys are gonna love this. Um, weird. I don't know how to unlock what I just saw was unlocked. Um... But I have an idea. I think I, I think I actually know what to do. So, yeah, I think there's sort of three exits to this um, colorful castle. And the one I didn't even go on has a green message box, so we gotta find out what information we'll be learning there. Since I'm really excited to get to the final world, which I just saw, I had to see some minor spoilers to realize what the heck's going on. Um, that save will be enough. Don't need to do any more than that. 
Please exit this world now. I need to deal with him myself. <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. Should have entered this level when I was looking at stuff, especially because it's 800 seconds. <laughs> then I would have just got back to the game and, like, oh, we're already here. Like this. Wow, that probably was a cape too. Alright, fine, let's try the other way. I don't think it's this one. I think it's the next one. Does which like freaking path you go on actually matter? It's also unfortunately a possibility. Oh god, I'm gonna need a cape at the end of this. out he will create levels forever dun 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 gonna fly. No fly intended. Choose this one. I'm sure it's probably all fire flowers through here. Alright, so I think this is the one I didn't go in. I don't know, dude. There was a green message box here. Maybe they got rid of that one. I mean, it was talking in the pretty weirdly. I might have said something messed up. They were like, yeah, let's actually not do that one. <laughs> Dude, what the heck am I supposed to do here? I 
thought it was something with flying, but I could be wrong. Alright, wait, let me look back here and see. Scroll kind of far back for this. Before that one, before that one. Oh, that was before that one. Oh, wait. Finally got to the part I'm at right here. I'm so confused. Okay, there we go. So that's the way it did yeah. How do you even repeat that? And then like every time you want to try this, you theoretically have to like exit the level to go get a cape. I just can't believe that. <sighs> like a frame perfect jump or something. Guess we did the thing. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh no, too late. I could not stop him. You had me distracted. Thanks a lot, Mr. Skunk Mustache. This world is doomed. Just go away now. No, you. God. All right, how many exits are we at? Ninety-eight. Gotcha. All right. So let me put that there. Ninety-eight. So there's twenty more. I have a feeling I understand now. So we've got twenty exits to go. And yeah, guys, check it out. There's something new on the screen, and it's this thing right here. So without further ado. See where we're dropping. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. What have we got here? Conveyor dance, molten gold river, violet vines, um, corrupted castle, fiery cloud float. You you rock, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You rock, man. But yeah, anyway, this is a time where uh, I'm going to stand up and stretch real quick. And if there's any viewers who want to decide which level we're starting with, just tell me on the grid where it is. And that's where we'll go. Super short break, beer. All right, what's up? Yeah, I got a really good stretch there. Got some more water resupplied. Ready for some gaming. So, vines. Oh yeah, let's do it. Rave cave. Oh God. Say it isn't so. Think fast. Oh man, yeah, this is gonna be really great. I think this is a great place to start. Number three. Nice. Okay, violet vines. All one exit, so we don't have to be scouring for secrets for a really long time. That's pretty cool. Whoa, this is definitely expert. This is pretty tough, dude. <laughs> nah, I mean, it's partially because I'm playing on easy mode. Super Mario Bros. 2 music for the win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this fits this level's vibe uh, super well, too. Cause the special world that we're in now, like, with like tubular and whatever the heck those all were called, is like the ultra mega coolness, so. Some of those level names sounded ridiculous. I think it's gonna be something pretty sick. Pretty sick this hack needs a name. Yeah man, the outro. Super Mario World Stormative episode. What the heck is this? <laughs> Strike one, strike two, strike three, you're out. Goodbye, baseball chucks. I'm sure I will never see you again in any level, ever. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding, but, um, oh, so that's how we can tell we beat it. I was wondering how they were gonna do that. That's cool. All right, Corrupted Castle. LOL cute. Yeah, this game has so much cuteness. Safe spot. Okay, that's pretty cute also. <laughs> and we were a little bit uh, looking like the psychedelic planes color scheme. Is that going to be in the whole freaking level, dude? That's so funny. <laughs> okay, no more helping. Um, ask a question and you'll receive the answer. What do you mean no more helping? <laughs> uh, those coins were pretty helpful, dude. Damn. I was underestimating how hard that was gonna get. All right, this is cool though. It's really cool. I think I did that already, but let me just make sure. Start power up list. Looking like Lego list from Lord of the Rings or something, right? <laughs> Yeah, except I don't really have any interest in like ever dyeing my hair blonde or straightening it, so... Um... I think out of all the media franchises... Um... That I know about... Like, there are obviously a million that I don't know about. But like, out of all the ones I know about, I think Lord of the Rings is one of the ones I would be least likely to ever... Do a cosplay with. 
Oh, uh, so you gotta like jump up through those potos basically. Okay, very well. Cause yeah, like I'm not like a Lord of the Rings hater, like I am for Avatar the Airbender or something, but um just never really got into it. But I would definitely enjoy like some of it if I um read more of it. Cause I did like the Hobbit book. I did like read that one. I thought this was pretty cool, so dun dun. It's like, oh, no, no more helping. You better be keeping your eyes on the ceiling for where the spikes are not. Not. Okay, that was good. But yeah, I mean, the fact that there's coins in this level, it makes it feel like this is like... Like the the star world was like the difficult world and this is like the cool world <laughs> like we, we might find some challenges along the way and this level isn't like easy but um it's just been my first impression so far all right how do i get past this first one quickly can i go uh, okay <laughs> And then this is where we run. And maybe run again. Oh, cool. All right, GG. Shout out to number 17. GG. Yeah, two down. 13 to go. Fiery Cloud Float. Still four. Um, no, there's still five exits that are unaccounted for. Which I guess you can count one of them as the final exit, so there's kind of four that are unaccounted for. Credits roll, or you saw the. All those question marks. Yes, yeah, so this looks pretty Bowser-y. This reminds me once again of the beginning of the Bean ROM hack by Jump Team. Because <laughs> you start off in a cloud that in um, a level that sort of looks like this. And you're actually controlling what's going on and then the game just freezes and it's like... Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here or something. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Ah, oh, damn it. Yo, yo, yo. Got any mushrooms, bro? Nice. Okay. Oh, I want to see what's over there, but oh well. <laughs> we get the bonus game. I, I really need to try to get some one-ups this time. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty cool fiery level. It's like if you wanted to have a little bit more Bowser fiery level vibes. Some good spices to be added then. <laughs> Uh, whatever. At least we got a couple. Yeah, it's a fiery cloud float. Yeah, I kind of floated through that one. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Alright, so then Chaco Nilla Trees. Sounds like a World 1 reference. Hello, check it out. I am free. Oh, so the message box 
sentient being became free. I can finally create my own levels. So that's the the blue message box individual is the one who's speaking through the words that are on the screen. I made this one. So yeah man was formerly a uh, a message box and then they became a, a person who makes levels or something. Um LOL alright, I forgot we were freeing the message box, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really deeply invested in this lore and um okay, so I guess I guess it's good. Down here. Here's what I really honestly I really love here's what I really love about this is it's very reminiscent of Super Mario Wonder with the talking flower that like um <laughs> that says random messages wherever you go or whatever the hell. Um it's really reminiscent of that, and that's so cool to me. <laughs> so yeah, man. I think Nintendo owes uh, yeah, man, like a paycheck or something, dude. Just, just putting it out there. Uh, what the heck are you supposed to do here? I'm not gonna be able to grab that. <laughs> yeah, man. Cool level. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. That was really unexpectedly... You need a specific thing to get past this point. So I guess they were assuming this is the first level the player would play, but I mean obviously it's set up to just do uh, whatever, whatever route. Alright, I think this calls for a special message in chat. Oh, so we are, um, oh my god, there's a bean. Take me to the bean. Nice. Um. Oh, wait, I have to go back and see what it says there. <laughs> Dang it. I just, I just played myself by doing that. Must learn more about the lore. The message box uh, creature has been freed. Or I guess the, the message box uh, consciousness has been freed or sentient being or whatever the heck noun that would be down here nah let's see what's out here stay grounded this time stay rooted stay grounded I made this entire expert land all for you. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's really sweet. It's no wonder world one is the sweet dessert world. This hack is so sweet. A lot of sweetness. All right, wonderful waffles. Yeah, that's pretty sweet too. Aw, oh, so kind. 
Yeah, I love when creators say stuff like, uh, thanks for playing, and like, I made all these levels for you, and playing the, the direct communication to the player playing the game. Definitely a, a good thought, good vibe. Um, okay, we got some syrup that we're swimming in. Also, that was great. <laughs> I almost got sniped. But I counter sniped the sniper that was coming at me. Interesting. This is the perfect color palette for this level. <laughs> okay, is that the point of the P switch? Have a troll moment. Hmm, damn. You snipely sniped the snipacious sniper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like a Monty Mole coming right at you from above where you're at on the screen is like. It's one of the true Super Mario World sniper tests. And I pass with flying colors. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so like that part was really fun to slide down. It was way too fun. I got I got lost in the sauce and the waffle maple syrup. Sniped lol. Yeah. <laughs> All these Monty moles are not safe when this when my Mario is out here on these streets or these waffles. I mean, oh, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, this looks pretty cool. With lots of syrup. Okay. Don't forget, guys, with lots of syrup. Yeah, those are some pretty wise words. <laughs> or whatever the heck that's supposed to mean. I don't know, but I don't like with lots of syrup. I think, like, a moderate amount is the most you should ever go for. But if you go from, like, putting a moderate amount to putting a lot, just kind of um, is not exactly complementing the flavor of the waffle bread or whatever. Alright, don't fall down there. But yeah, then again, it's like I was saying, it's like people who like something extremely sweet or really sweet or something it's like then you I guess would kind of want to have a lot of syrup because it has like a ton of sugar in it not always most of them had ton of sugar in there though weird purple goop is this like a Super Mario Sunshine level hmm I swear, I thought it was going to be reverse controls, like, really hard. This is not reverse controls. Um, okay. Don't jump too high. O W or Al? Uh, sorry, are they are they implying like they they themselves jumped too high while they were typing that and and hit the munter and said Al from that? That was so odd to read that I didn't even register it as Al at first. Uh, that's probably not good. <laughs> Just stuck up there. Um, I think we will hopefully respawn. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't really get what the deal with that was. It was a cool looking shape for that. Alright, purple goop vertical water level complete. It's a nice little uh, aquarium. I feel like I just swam through like a little aquarium or something. It's probably because there's a lot of green in there. Dimensional drift. Whoa, this level is so crazy, dude. Jump here. Nice one. Oh, crap. Well, that was almost good. <laughs> uh, I don't think I put a save there, so let's just do this one. There we go. I mean, this is a pretty nice special world vibe, auto scroller level, and all that. There we go. Jump here. Wow, it was a Kaizo block. OMG, Lamau. God. <laughs> oh. Jump here. Hmm, thanks. All right, GG. All went according to plan. So I guess we were like drifting through a dimension. You rock man. This is a very special level. Yeah, that's what I figured. You can't play it without all four switch palaces, 100 exits. Uh, I've got those both. So bring on the challenge. Um, wait, so is there like a power up over here? Could say that you're waffling through this expert land. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, so that's why that's there. It's like, oh yeah, I rock, man. Let's go rock, man. Oh, I only have 69 exits. The slow walk of shame. I must return to actually complete the video game. <laughs> yeah, I'm waffling through these uh, expert land because this is pretty much my morning having some waffles with some like butter and pecans. Not butter pecans because they're not as good, but just like some butter and then some plain pecans. Ready for action. No comment. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not ready. Yeah, I guess this might be somewhat of a challenge since it's like there's a there's a barrier of entry. Alright, it's time to go into the yeah man, concentration man, focus man, moment. <laughs> okay, so I need to get these to all die or something so I can go down there. Oh, 
Oh crap. Well, it sucks. <laughs> I was gonna bounce off of that little wall, just like freaking went right over it. Can't see, okay. Number one. Like this song has a lot of potential to get pretty old. <laughs> Damn. I oranged these levels for you. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this might be a really long level because we're gonna go through the whole rainbow. I think we're literally going through the whole rainbow. Oh wait, so this is not um Okay, that, that was the clue about the rainbow that I totally failed to notice. Ah! I was gonna say, it, it seemed like during all those uh, intense keyboard nerd rants from the green message box individual that the, uh, the grammar and typing game was on point. So I was like, ready? With two Ds? Really pulling out double D's with that ready, but it's just a color joke. Ugh. Bro. It's freaking tiny dinosaurs, I swear. The best mini game is to try to jump over this without making contact with it. It's really hard to do that. Nice. Because you have to twist back to the left, or else you'll bump into the lower part of it. But you also have to get pretty far to the right. Hmm. Oh my god, dude. I freaking hate these enemies. Oh, this is just the struggle of the red room. This might be the ultimate real final final level. It's not the final castle. This might be the only special world level that leads to more levels as well, actually. So I'm interested to see if that will be the case. Oh my god, get him out of here. Alright, it's time to keep this mushroom the whole time. Uh, I guess not. Ah! Alright, it's time to keep this one the whole time. That was what I, what I meant to say. So this is another pun because um, it's like I uh, arranged, but instead of arranged, it's oranged. And I um, I don't really like this one. Too much orange. Alright, there's gotta be capes here, right? Yellow time, time for capes. Dude, that fucking sucks balls. Right at the start of the yellow section, you put that shit. 
Oh my god. Yellow, how are you? Annoyed. <laughs> oh god. The freaking heck is that shit? <laughs> One of the coolest designs I've seen for something like this. Oh my god. Gotta actually like, keep track of that. Alright, we're gonna need some power-ups, but that's the good thing about grinding out these levels without save states. I'm only using the save states so I don't run out of lives and whatever, but um... Yeah, so then like get better at the first part so it's easier to keep your power-ups for a longer time and like that's why it's always the most exciting to like make progress in levels then you keep your power-ups for longer and like it's part of that SMW experience All the way back since the uh, vanilla game. Alright, well I should probably try to start killing the Lakitu up above on this part. Where are they at though? There we go. Perfect timing. You gotta be kidding me. A, a spiny and the flame just came right at me in that moment. Like, is it really necessary? I appreciate that. yellow area is a lot cooler than the the orange one. It's still pretty annoying. I, don't, I can't tell if this is good or bad. It's just something else. Okay, that's good. So a lot of chucks probably. Oh my god. Everyone's a green that you rock. Thank you for the kind words. That is also 100% uh, factually true. Uh, okay. You have the best qualities, or wait, you have the best uh, aqua liddies? It's -a me, Mario. You have uh, the best of qualities. I guess that's what it is since it's a Mario game. Yeah, I like the Mario reference in the Mario game. Definitely pretty smooth. <laughs> oh, cool. We're already double caped up. I guess this isn't as hard as I thought. Oh, this makes sense. Nice. Bruh. 
Must get the cape. Ah, oh, dang it. I was, um... Not in a spot where it was safe to grab that. Oh no, not like this. Not dying in the water level. Your skills blew me away. Cool. assume that we're supposed to do this. Oh crap. Okay, yeah, I'm dead now. Oh wait. Not dead. The second time it's happened during this hack. Oh god. <laughs> Dude, that was insane. Whatever the heck all just happened right there. Okay, now I feel the vibe of this music. Because I just had a god gamer moment. I know you can purple through. Um, oh, is that like pull through or power through? I have no idea. I don't think black is part of the rainbow. Turn black now. Mm, it's not as good. <laughs> Can I go ahead and assume that was a sincere attempt? That one was not as good. did that one just activate? <laughs> Dude, what the heck was that about? It was a very weird thing. Alright, last area. Well, I guess we'll switch while we're here. To nothingness. Yeah, man. Uh, what the heck is going on? Hmm. A GG. That's what's going on. GG. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool ending. That was really cute. Really fun to see. Aha! Oh ho ho ho! Oh, that's a level? I thought it was going to be a teleport to the last world with four other levels. Um, I feel like we should do this later, but I can't start select, so I guess we're doing it now. Okay, seriously, this is bad. He has totally lost his marbles. Do not go into that void. Do not run into it full speed and holding right. All right. Um, wait, excuse me? <laughs> what the heck is going on? Okay. Uh, 
Um, yeah, we'll come back to that later. Um, but yeah, I already took a couple of breaks. They were like super quick though, so it kind of doesn't count, right? I gotta just uh, use the bathroom super quick, guys. And then we'll resume and um, get ready to think fast. Give your brain some water. And then we will resume this journey, BRB. All right, what is up, y'all? I'm back, and also I salute the Fortnite journey to Kobe Rabbit. Hope that goes well. Victory Royales. I would be so surprised if I, like, next time I see Fortnite gameplay, because it's been uh, forever since I kept up with it. Think fast. It has some good qualities. It's just all the cosmetic and V Buck stuff just kind of made me annoyed or something. Alright, so I think it's a speedrun level. We started with 120 seconds. I learned so much from exploring this world with you. This is literally so much like Super Mario Wonder, I swear. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. What was the other one? It said Time's Up or something. Like that, that just gave me such a flashback to beating Mario Wonder and at the end of little flower guy is like oh we did such an awesome journey together teamwork makes the dream work feels good man like it's basically what he says at the end and it's like i'm i'm seeing another variation of the same thing here it's really cool and you guys had better believe that i'm going to leave a comment on super mario world central um, describing that comparison, so I think it's it's really cool to me. <laughs> That's why I mention it again. Trust the coins. Hmm. Nice. I like how I called it out too. It's like I'm gonna choose to trust these coins. Wrong move, RIP. Let me grab this real quick. I might lose this speed run because of that. I 
We might not have time to grab any power-ups, let this see. I don't think it's going to be that tight though. The time up and just kidding, haha <laughs> just kidding, gives it a pretty light-hearted vibe, so. Um, wait, oh yeah, we're going up. <laughs> that cost some time. Okay, whoa. I will be the best creator ever. It's a pretty bold claim. Cause it's a pretty broad umbrella. I mean like every author and sculptor and painter is also a creator, musician. Yeah, maybe that should be my next goal. Be the best creator ever. It's pretty inspiring words there. Shoot for the stars. Bitter cold. And a blistering cold for you for four hours. You just said no. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, this music is a lot more vibey. Where did I go? I appreciate you giving me another cape. Um, B F F F up here. Um, sure. Ah, oh, dang it! I forgot they don't work like that. Can't spin jump on the circle booze. I guess it would have been too easy to navigate them for that, but uh, GG. That's weird. So, like, you complete the level, but it only pops up to save, like, once you walk to the next space. Kind of weird. That's interesting, too. Alright, here's the level I'm kind of dreading. This gives me a flashback to playing um, Rack. There's a level in there that's just like a rave. Rave cave. Hmm. This is like a predecessor to that level. At least the music is good. This is way better than rave music. I'll take this over rave music any day. So I guess we probably need to keep the star. Um... So where's the question mark block, bro? Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh. Oh shit. Um, is that it? Some of these have been pretty short. Okay. I Man, I would have liked it longer. I like those kind of levels. Um. There's a level in the bean hack like that too. <laughs> and I beat that one in the bean hack first try. I still can't believe that happened. Like that was so funny. It was in the top right corner of like the underground cave section. For people who want to know which one I mean. Um, it was one bean out of five on the difficulty. So it wasn't like that crazy that I first tried it, I guess, but I was I was still really surprised because it had a really tight timer. <clears throat> Excuse me, a really tight uh, timer on that one. Flavored ice. It's been a while since I did that actually, but like, oh, um, yeah, putting liquids that aren't water, like I guess putting drinks or juice in ice trays can be like really good. Stay cool, homie. Yeah, you also you stay cool. Yeah, man, homie. Very great hack. It's been uh, it's been really cool to play this in a, a lot of different ways. Just overall entertaining. Very good aesthetics. Cool vibes.
Okay. 21. Yeah, this is definitely, um, it's kind of like I was saying, the Star World was like challenging and this is like the cool, fun world. Rainbow one was pretty tough. Um, but I got in the rainbow rhythm and I rocked it, man. Toxic Boo Land. Danger. What da what is this danger you speak of? I don't sense any danger. This I I hate jumps like that. Like <laughs> they're not really that hard, but I just I feel like that's some kind of weakness of mine or something. Boing boing. Boing boing and GG. Alright, and then we've got these two, and then I guess figure out the darkness shit or something, maybe. Um, Molten Gold River. Oh, wait. Okay, so. We've got the honey. Just reminds me of honey every time I see this. Because I feel like all the times I've seen that used, it's either like yellow, brown, little bit of red, like something along those lines. I know that was in uh, Brutal Mario a little bit. Or something like that with the King K. Rool boss fight. Oh, uh, so that's actually pretty tough to deal with. Disco Shell during that. Hmm, jumped the wrong way. That's cool. This level is, in in this world right here, this level is one of the best balance of like, it still fits the world because it's just like more of a cool, fun level, but like it finds ways to still make that challenging. Like once the disco shells are incorporated with it, like it it kind of just throws you in. I feel like that could have came later in the level. Unless there's something even harder up ahead I don't know about yet. Um, but yeah. The, and then having one disco shell without the honey. It's all really good. Alright. Not getting footballed. Um, okay. <laughs> Didn't think there'd be another one. Oh wait, I want him to... Uh, well... GG. <laughs> yeah, that's a neat level. I like the golden honey cave idea. I feel like that's a cool mixture of ideas. It wasn't supposed to be honey, I guess. It was supposed to be molten gold. But obviously that would be extremely painful. Conveyor dance. So yeah, it might have been, it technically was molten gold, like in a literal sense, right? But no, it was totally honey. All I want to do now is create. Yo, that's what's up. It's a very awesome, uh, awesome verb for humans to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so now we're going this way. Whoa. I'm overloaded with new ideas. It's just like me for real, for real. Mm. 
Okay, that's surprising. <laughs> Hasn't been long enough levels for Midway as much recently. But yeah, this would be, would have been a really good intro to the the special world as well. Like the, kind of just like the the second level. This one also fits the vibe super well. I feel like, and I have no limits. And number sixty nine. Yeah, two good omens right there. But yeah, cheers to people who are as ambition has conquered all your limits. So you have no limits and turn into like Saitama from One Punch Man. Alright, what's the count at now? One hundred and thirteen. Okay, so we're missing five. Is there any way to make sense of what is going on here? Um, don't go in there fully holding right or some shit. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't really see any alternatives. Let's try going to the left. But yeah, I think this is a great idea. Okay, yeah, now that exit kind of makes sense, because, like, um, because one of the five we're missing is counting the final exit, um, all right, well, I guess it's back to the resources board. Let's, um, I think there was good music on here or something, right? Uh, let's find a good music spot. Perfect. All right, so hopefully this won't take more than one or two cycles of this. In the awesome world, going through the slow auto scroller, going into the rainbow level. So, you might go into the darkness after this. Okay, the rainbow level is completed. again different message box configuration it's going to the right maybe I should have gone to the right instead of the left apparently well that level looks different This is so weird. Uh, 
All right, well that path is definitely different. I remember the heck that just was, so let me try to get to that. It's a good timing there. Oh my god. <laughs> Should have used my cape over here. Okay, please take me to the one on the right. Alright, let's do this level again. But with a twist. Did everything just change? I have so many ideas, uh, I guess that's why. Like how the coins like indicate where the teleports are. Silence. This will go on forever. Hmm. Well, obviously it's not true because there's a timer that would kill me if it runs out. But nothing lasts forever. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The absence of all things lasts forever. Nah. No. Oh, I was right. It's okay. I am fine. See? I can do this. Easy, 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 easy. This will go on forever. I feel fine, everything, uh, ha ha ha. Um, what in the freaking heck is this shit? <laughs> hmm. Interesting choice. I must create. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> or something. Hey, up here. You have to help me use this stuff you find in the... What the heck is this shit? So the message box, like... Oh my god, this is so annoying. Um, oh. Oh, thank god. My levels stink, why bother? <laughs> We've got love and hate. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't know what you could call the theme of this level, but, um, it's definitely a level. Why bother? It's gonna hurt me. It's gonna kill when you desert me. This happened to me twice before. Okay, so anyway. 
We just uh, broke the message box being's brain, I guess, uh, or something like that, right? So now we have three exits left to get? No way! Uh, this might be really fucking weird too. Alright, no way. Wow, I feel amazing now. You rock. Wow, rewards. Much thank, many wow. In fuck the cloud. Um, okay. So we might need to get Yoshi and fly. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. Oh well, I cannot reason with you or him. I am out. Later, Gator. Oh, I thought the green message box and the blue was like the same person. I thought that was why it was turning green and blue in the previous level. Well, shows what I know. The green message box is like, yeah, fuck it, I'm out of here. hack is so like creative and it talks a lot about creating and the name of the hack is this hack needs a name I guess that's pretty ironic wait a second I'm 115 oh what the heck is this nonsense Back to the research in lab. Oh my god, dude. Okay, he's doing the rest of the world. to the awesome special world. for something. I oh, still needed one exit there. Hmm. In the back door. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I mean, it seems like I guess I beat the entire thing. Hmm. Well, let's do one more look around the overworld real quick, but I'm pretty sure we got them all. These are all one exit, they're all sparkling because we won. We got all the double exit paths here. Cause all the levels are connected to the star world they're from. And to the next area. Did that. 
But yeah, let me say some of my concluding thoughts on this hack. Uh, I kind of already said what I said. I mean, it was kind of, it was a really harsh contrast with like how fun and aesthetically pleasing the hack was compared with the final level being like a like a mental breakdown shit or something like <laughs> um wait I didn't do this one I must have like loaded a save at some point or something there probably was a problem at the post office or something sometimes I scribble addresses too sloppy when I jot them <laughs> But yeah, no, actually, I don't think I did play this level for some reason. So this would leave us at the perfect amount. Feels good, man. Feels satisfying, man. Another hack will certainly be added to the completed hacks list of the 96 plus ROM hack challenge. And also, this is why the overworld is gray now. Um, I mean, that explains why I saw it earlier like that. Because we diffused all of the... something. I don't know. Was those big boos, were they somehow even related to the story? I feel like they were kind of not. So wait, so we need to hit the on off? Yeah. very blind jumpy for sure but yeah it's kind of weird because I feel like I thought I played this level but it probably was at some point when I um, reset the game and it just didn't save the progress from this Yeah, this does seem more familiar now that I've like seen a little more of it. I remember that part, it's pretty funny. And this part, it's pretty cool. GG. So let's see if that uh, confirms my theory that the last two levels are this one and the level that's above this one. Yup. Dance floors. 
Yo, let's hit the dance floors of style, my friends. Because this is the last dance floor. Which I have to beat again because of this game having its saving and loading of files and shit. But we get to visit our good friend who had a mental breakdown but is now feeling much better. The purple message box. Um, I mean, the rhythm is key. There isn't really a key in this level, though. It only has one exit. Kappa. <laughs> I said Kappa before. I mean, we really are repeating history by me playing this level, but... If this is the cost to uh, get a 100% save file, it's definitely worth it. Oh yeah, that's shit. Got the midway, got really far. That is such a good trick though, I'm not even that mad. I remember saying that before too, like something about how that's um it's just a really smart idea to make all of that. Yeah, so how would you even get the dragon coin? You have to hit this on off and go back, I guess. It's just a really cool shape for this whole thing. Gentlemen, I'm gonna go complete the final level one more time because hopefully that'll give us a save. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's all of our numbers now. Yeah, because we were missing four after we did the 15, and this is one, two, and then three, four were the two levels that were not part of the five by three grid. Um, so that's definitely it because. Like we saw a couple times already, through the front door and back door of the main castle, it leads to credit roll and then a black screen. So you can't actually see um, that exit on the exit count number thing. But yeah. Thanks for being an awesome streamer. <laughs> No, I was kidding. Yeah, thanks for playing. No, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, man, for creating this whole hack. My feeling was just like, yeah, man. Like it literally, it's it sounds like it's a joke. It's definitely a joke, but it's also true. Just like there were some parts that were hard, a little bit annoying. That was very few parts annoying though. Like most levels were really fun, 
and cool and especially the aesthetics were good the music was good so i was seriously sincerely and with all my heart upon entering and experiencing most of these levels i was like yeah man so you know this hack needs a name this creator does not need a name because the name yeah man it fits the vibe of the hack so well and yeah i'm gonna say that even though it's called this hack needs a name maybe it's a fan game also for uh pleasing nintendo purposes um <laughs> but yeah completed expert world completed star world completed worlds one through eight completed the castle through the front door completed the castle through the back door so wait did that actually save the game again i wasn't even paying attention for that Uh, it says 115. So the 115 was from after the level on the right. And then we did the top one. And I was like, oh, I guess we win. So then I went and did the other ones. But um, wait, it doesn't have a save on the overworld, does it? Yeah, it came along in later hacks. Sometimes you can press start or select to save on the overworld. But definitely beat the whole thing trust me guys i've been keeping a close eye on the numbers and it appears as if we're all gucci gucci gang yeah so <laughs> anyway um i already said this a bunch of times but thanks to yeah man for this hack it was really fun and uh, that's gonna be the end of this episode guys another 96 plus hack complete totally knocking them out i think that's number 12 so yeah, I'm going to get out of here and eat some lunch. But thank you so much for the support, everyone. Super appreciate it. And thank you so much to all the Super Mario World level and ROM hack creators out there. I'm going to be playing a lot more Super Mario World very soon. Binding of Isaac Repentance and Street Fighter VI as well. A little bit on the side there. So, <laughs> yeah, but um, stream last night was so good. This was also a nice stream. Wrapping up the hack needs a name with a bow. Wrapping it up on a very pleasant note, despite that alarming stage earlier. Um, it was fun, though. It was cool. So, <laughs> But yeah, thanks again to you all. I very much appreciate it. I'll be streaming more this weekend, so I hope you guys look forward to that. And also, I will um, be streaming more generally in the near future. It's going to be great. It's going to be hype. I will enjoy it. I hope you guys will, too. Thank you so much, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.